Jen and Tony with Wing and a Prayer Design. We're excited to showcase our newest collection for timeless treasures, Plum Fusion. This beautiful Tonga Batik collection is created from sweet creams to luscious plums and berries surrounded with earthy browns and greens. The Plum Fusion collection will be shipping November of 2021 and will stay in the timeless line until December of 2022. Jen and I want to take a few minutes to break this quilt down. It's Saturday sampler friendly. Eight of the 12 inch blocks are found in the on point center of the quilt. The center block has beautiful white star points. And then the four corner blocks emulate the center with the white star points interchanging the outside corners and the center part of the star. And those are the last of the 12 inch blocks in the quilt. After the customers complete their 12 blocks, Eight of those blocks will be used in the center point and they're easily sashed together. This star sashing is created simply with a flip and sew in each corner and a red cornerstone, completing the sashing in each corner of the center of the quilt. The beautiful on point setting is completed by these very large block corners. Within each corner, are the pinwheel setting blocks with the checkerboard sides. They're attached to the 12 and a half inch hourglass blocks. And it's important to follow our specific cutting guidelines so that no bias edges will be exposed on the outside of your quilt. You can see how easy and quick it will finish when you have 12 and a half inch blocks to go around the outer edge. The beautiful white star coordinating blocks act as cornerstones to the beautiful piano key with accent star section. Here's a sneak peek of just how beautiful the Plum Fusion quilt is on a king bed. You can see the on point center hits the pillow turn and right at the edge of the bed those pretty piano key sections frame the bed corners. The 12 SKU Masterpiece Fabric Collection was inspired by florals found in fine art paintings. The quilt center is an 18 inch block which blooms out into the four spinning corners which is made one month. And Jen, tell them about the lights and darks of the backgrounds. In the spinning corners, we disguise some of the seams by using the um, focal floral here on this side and then the textured cream on the outside to create an interesting shape for the center. Each month, the participants will do a portion of the quilt, and Jen will point those out now. The beautiful cactus blocks and geese rows, along with the basket corner, show how lovely the fabric shade. In this premium block of the month program, participants will make multiples of blocks per month. Jen, can you point out some of these sections? Um, the one I'm pointing to here is the little uh, hourglass ends with the friendship star in the middle, and you can see those go around the center of the quilt. Then we also have our, our geese runs. It wouldn't be a wing and a prayer quilt without some geese runs. No way, we love and our geese. the little cactus flower blocks around in the center of the quilt, followed by the basket blocks, and then the sashing on the black basket blocks. It's just beautiful, Jen. You did a wonderful job piecing this. This fabric was so fun to work with. Here, Jen did a specific fussy cut from the dark plum floral for that center. She did some select cuts going around so that the bouquets would fall in their full beauty, but not be centered. This took a lot of piecing out of that center part of the quilt. Unlike the select cutting that was done in the center section, 
The purple strips were done by simply cutting six and a half inch strips and letting the bouquets fall where they might. The strips were completed with flip and sew ends and a large flying geese on the end, followed by two sashing strips on each side. And you can see that that green fabric has great peaceability where the seams are much disguised as they go back together. Next, we move on to the border. And these were simply created without fussy cutting. And the six and a half inch strips of fabric were cut at a 45 degree angle and pieced back together to create this interesting ribbon border around the outside of the quilt. So those pieces are six and a half inches wide by about 12 and a half long, Jen, um, on those borders. Like 18. 18, even better, fast piecing. So this quilt in this collection was really designed to let the fabric do some of the work for you. We hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough masterpiece. The Heart's Desire One Yard Panel for Timeless Treasures comes out in December of 2021. This beautiful full color panel uses seven SKUs from the Masterpiece Collection to create the Heart's Desire quilt. Airy bouquets in both the word sections and fussy cuts found in the panel are located in the four corners of the quilt and blocks inside. We let some of the fabric do the work for you as we just cut out a beautiful bouquet and pieced it with a border. Jen, tell them about the block piecing. To follow the Heart's Desire theme, we have some pieced heart block sections in both the airy um, natural floral and also the packed floral. And we use the packed floral to create geese sections that float in and out of the background to help blend the quilt from section to section. This is one of my favorites, Jen. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs>